Did you think if Levi Stubbs would have had a solo career, he would have been successful? Did you know he was a cousin of the singer Jackie Wilson? Levi Stubbs was a baritone lead vocalist of the legendary R&B group The Four Tops. He played a pivotal role in the group's success, contributing his powerful and emotional singing style to numerous Motown hit records during the 1960s and 1970s. Stubbs' distinctive voice and dramatic delivery set him apart. Apart from his contributions to music, Levi Stubbs was also involved in voice acting for film and television. So, if you're a Levi Stubbs fan or simply curious about this legend, hit the like button and let's dive in. How was Levi Stubbs' early life alike? Levi Stubbs, born Levi Stubbles on June 6, 1936 in Detroit, was part of a musically inclined family. His parents, Daisy and Levi Stubbles, raised him alongside his brother Joe Stubbs and sister Thelma. Remarkably, Levi's younger brother, Joe, also pursued a career in music and became a popular singer. Additionally, Levi was related to Jackie Wilson, a renowned soul singer, as he was their cousin. Growing up in a family deeply connected to music, Levi was naturally drawn to it. He started singing at a young age, and his passion for music intensified during his high school years. This early exposure and love for music laid the foundation for his future career in the industry. How Levi Stubbs Got Into Music Industry Levi Stubbs attended Detroit Pershing High School, where he crossed paths with Abdul Duke Fakir. Along with two other music enthusiasts, Ronaldo Benson and Lawrence Payton, they formed a musical group called Four Ames. Starting from humble beginnings, the Four Ames performed their initial gig at a birthday party and gradually progressed to local bars and clubs, honing their skills and building a local fan base. After signing with Chess Records, the group changed their name to The Four Tops. The decision to change the group's name from The Four Ames to The Four Tops was made to avoid confusion with the popular Ames brothers at that time. This change allowed them to establish a unique and distinguishable identity in the music industry. Despite recording numerous songs for Chess Records, they didn't achieve significant success. However, their fortunes changed when their friend Barry Gordy Jr., who owned Motown Records, extended a helping hand. In 1964, their single, Baby I Need Your Loving, unexpectedly climbed to the 11th spot on the Billboard Pop chart, marking a turning point in their career. This success prompted them to shift their focus towards pop music, deviating from their jazz roots. Although Stubbs was a natural baritone, most four tops hits were written in a tenor range to give the lead vocals a sense of urgency. In 1972, the group left Motown and joined ABC Records. Although they briefly reunited with Motown in the mid-1990s for a Christmas album, their return didn't yield the expected results. As the 1990s progressed, the four tops transitioned from studio recordings to live performances, captivating audiences with their timeless hits on stage. After a brief hiatus in 1978, the four tops made a comeback in 1981 with Casablanca Records, releasing an album titled, Tonight. However, their popularity had waned by this time, and they faced challenges remaining relevant throughout the 1980s and 1990s. Tragedy struck in 1997 when Lawrence Payton, one of the original members, passed away. The group continued as a trio for a while before recruiting Theo People, completing the quartet once more. Despite the challenges and changes, the four tops enduring legacy continued through their live performances, keeping their iconic music alive for generations of fans. Why did Levi Stubbs refuse to go solo? The Four Tops' rare stability in their lineup was remarkable in the ever-changing landscape of music groups. Despite Levi Stubbs' immense popularity as the lead singer, he resisted the allure of a solo career. Unlike other Motown acts like Smokey Robinson and the Miracles or Diana Ross and the Supremes, Stubbs refused separate billing, demonstrating his steadfast loyalty to his bandmates. Stubbs received numerous offers to go solo, a testament to his individual talent and charisma. However, he consistently turned down these opportunities, choosing to remain committed to the four tops. Even in the realm of acting, Barry Gordy, the founder of Motown Records, offered Stubbs a prominent role in the 1972 film Lady Sings the Blues, alongside Diana Ross as Billie Holiday. However, Stubbs declined this offer as well, unwilling to overshadow his fellow four tops members. His decisions reflected his deep sense of camaraderie and unity within the group, prioritizing the collective identity of the four tops over personal fame and recognition. Stubbs also made guest appearances on various TV shows, portraying himself. These actions not only showcased his talent but also reinforced his dedication to the group's legacy, emphasizing the importance of their unity and shared success. 
Levi Stubbs' unwavering commitment to the four tops contributed significantly to their enduring harmony and their iconic status in the music industry. What were the biggest songs Levi Stubbs sang to for the four tops? Levi Stubbs, as the lead singer of the four tops, lent his powerful vocals to numerous hits. Some of their biggest songs featuring Stubbs include 1. Baby I Need Your Loving, 1964, their breakthrough hit that reached the top 20 on the charts. 2. I Can't Help Myself, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, 1965, a chart-topping single that became one of their signature songs. 3. Reach Out I'll Be There, 1966, a massive hit, reaching number one on the charts and becoming one of Motown's defining tracks. 4. Bernadette, 1967, another top 10 hit, known for Stubbs' emotive vocals. 5. Standing in the Shadows of Love, 1966, a top 10 hit featuring Stubbs' distinctive voice. 6. It's the Same Old Song, 1965, a classic four tops hit that showcased Stubbs' powerful delivery. 7. Ain't No Woman, Like the One I've Got, 1973, a post-1960s hit that demonstrated Stubbs' enduring talent. These songs, among others, highlighted Stubbs' exceptional vocal talent and contributed significantly to the Four Tops' legacy as one of Motown's most iconic groups. Who was Levi Stubbs' wife and children? Levi Stubbs married Clinus Stubbs in 1960, and their enduring union lasted for over 48 years until his death in 2008. Together, they had five children, and their family continued to grow with 11 grandchildren and 10 great-grandchildren. Stubbs was a devoted husband and father and always made time for his family despite his busy schedule. Their long-lasting marriage and the loving family they built became an integral part of Stubbs' personal legacy. How Levi Stubbs Died Levi Stubbs faced a series of health challenges, including a stroke in 1995 and a cancer diagnosis in 2000, for which he underwent chemotherapy. Despite these difficulties, he persevered, continuing to perform and tour with the Four Tops until his retirement in 2008. Unfortunately, Stubbs' health declined further, leading to his passing on October 17, 2008, at the age of 72. He peacefully passed away in his sleep at his mansion. A memorial service, attended by numerous artists from the music industry, was held 10 days later, honoring his remarkable legacy in the world of music. Levi Stubbs' Legacy Detroit City Council member Joanne Watson and Martha Reeves, recognizing Levi Stubbs' significant contributions to music, presented a resolution naming Stubbs' birthday, Levi Stubbs' Day, in Detroit, a fitting tribute to his legacy. Stubbs was laid to rest at Detroit's historic Woodlawn Cemetery, marking his final resting place and honoring his enduring impact on the city and the music industry. Ronaldo Benson's passing on July 1, 2005, marked a significant loss, leaving Duke Fakir as the sole surviving member of the Four Tops original lineup. Levi Stubbs' final performance with the group took place at their 50th anniversary concert on July 28, 2004, held at the Detroit Opera House, commemorating their enduring musical journey.